Welcome, I'm Rose Zotley, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious Asian salad. If you're in the mood for delicious food, come cook with Rose Zotley. We'll start with our chicken breast. You wanna rinse and thoroughly dry. In order to cook your breast evenly, you wanna make sure you flatten the thicker areas. Just place some saran wrap using a meat tenderizer or rolling pin, just pound away. You wanna season both sides, and we'll start with some salt and pepper garlic powder, dry or fresh thyme, I'll be using fresh thyme, some rosemary, regular or smoked paprika, I like the smoky flavor, so today I'm gonna to be using smoked. To a large pan, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Today I'm using my hex clad pan, I'll post the link in the description below. Now if you have a cast iron skillet or a stainless steel, those will sear your chicken really well. Once your pan starts to lightly smoke, it's ready for your chicken breast. My heat setting is at medium. You want to cook for three to four minutes on each side and avoid the temptation to move your chicken around. Let them cook undisturbed until it's time to flip them over. If you have a splatter guard, I recommend you use one. It's been almost four minutes, we'll flip them around. And you want to make sure that they have a nice sear just like these here. Adjust your heat as needed. Chicken is done when it reaches internal temperature of 165 Fahrenheit or 73 degrees Celsius. You're welcome to use a thermometer if you need to. Once done, you want to place them on a plate temporarily. Make sure to let them rest for at least 10 minutes to lock in those juicy flavors and cover them up with aluminum foil to keep them warm. In the meantime, we're going to be working on our salad and our base. We'll start with some romaine lettuce. I can't seem to find my salad spinner, so I'm going to add these to a colander. And I'm also going to add this bag of some shredded cabbage mix or slaw. You want to thinly slice one red bell pepper. We're going to roughly chop a small bush of cilantro. I have a bag of matchstick carrots. We're going to add a few of these. Asian salads always have a nice crunch to them, which is why we're adding some crunchy ingredients. Once you rinse and drain really well, you wanna add your mix to a salad bowl or a plate. I'm also going to be adding some snap peas to my base. Let's go in with our red bell peppers. I feel like these are a little big, so I'm gonna go ahead and break them in half. I also love to add sliced almonds with cranberries. I usually use wontons too, but today I'm out, so this will suffice. Before I continue, let's cut into our chicken breasts. Oh, this looks good already. Let me show you how juicy this looks. So tender and juicy. Let me finish slicing so I can add to my plate. For my dressing today, I'm gonna to be using the sweet Asian vinaigrette I recently bought and love. However, you can use your favorite Asian dressing, or if you need a recipe for a dressing, just let me know and I'll be happy to give you one. Next, we're gonna go in with our chopped cilantro. I just love the extra little flavor it gives it. And we're gonna to top it off with some toasted sesame seeds. Now, sometimes I also like to add mandarins, which taste so delicious, but today I'm skipping those. All right, friends, this is my Asian salad. I really hope you enjoy it. Now you can definitely make this chicken to use with other salads as well. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.